Greetings from San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy. We'll be going over today's top stories starting with the weather with Brick Tamlin. Brick? Thanks, Ron. It looks like it's going to be a warm morning with a start of 60 degrees from about 8 to 11 o'clock. And after it gets around noon, the temperature will increase at around 74 degrees. As the evening rolls in, the temperature will drop to about 58 degrees and the day will end at around 6 degrees. Now time for sports with Champ Kind. Champ? Thanks, Brick. In last night's 14 inning thriller between the New York Mets and the Phillies, there was an article released about the death of Osama bin Laden, the man that was said to be in charge of the 9-11 attacks. After the article had been released, minutes later, people watching the game started chanting, USA, USA, USA. Hello, my name is Steve Jobs. This is the new iPhone with advanced technology such as Siri. There are three choices. One with 16 gigabytes, one with 32 gigabytes, last but not least, one with 64 gigabytes. Come to your local stores on September 21st, 2012. Good evening, America. I'm Ron Burgundy with your main story for today's news. Al-Qaeda leader in charge of 9-11, Osama bin Laden, has been killed today. At around 1 o'clock p.m., the United States Special Forces infiltrated Osama bin Laden's compound and killed him. The SEALs continued into the compound and kicked, killed six people, including one of his wives. They later gathered the body of Osama and any information or blueprints they could get and returned to the Black Hawk that wasn't destroyed, and then re later returned to their base. The body was confirmed dead and confirmed as Osama bin Laden. Well, that's our headline story. Now on to Br Brian Fantana with the side stories. Brian? Thanks, Ron. It's that time of year again for the Holocaust Remembrance Day where anyone who's affected by the horrible atrocities gathered to mourn the losses of their ancestors who died in the Holocaust. People from all over the world are gathering to support these losses, as you can see here. Excuse me, miss, can you explain to me who you are mourning? Yes, I'm here to mourn for my grandfather, who was brutally, brutally beaten by the Nazis and killed. Oh, well, that's bad. He's in a better place now. It is okay. Well, okay. You've heard it live here, Ron. Now it's time for a commercial break. You've heard of the new iPhone 5 coming out, right? Well, guess what we put on it? Siri. And not just Siri, a new and improved Siri. Our lab geniuses over at Apple have been working day and night to make Siri way more human-like. Just watch this. Siri, what's my name? You're on Burgundy. That's what you told me anyway. See, isn't she so real? And if you don't believe me, watch closely again. What's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. <sighs> oh, Siri. This week there has been a multitude of tornadoes in the Midwest and the South, destroying towns and killing many people. There have been up to 305 tornadoes spawned in the air. The 327 people that were killed would make it the third most deadly storm storms of all time. Rescue kills of crews are still searching for missing people, and many people are being attended to by first responders. Back to Ron. Well, that's it for Channel 4 News. I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy with your main story for today's news. Al-Qaeda leader in charge of 9-11, Osama bin Laden, has been killed today. At around 1 o'clock p.m., United States Special Forces infiltrated Obama. Uh, I said Obama's. Nice job, Obama. I'm sorry, that never <laughs> happens. That never happens. Osama! What are you trying to do? Siri, what's my name? Crap. Siri, what's my name? You're asking me. Stupid idiot. Yo, what's up? <laughs> How's the weather going? It's going pretty good. There's tons of fire burning over water. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. It's burning a hole through our ozone layer. 